And also remember, don't believe in what I'm saying in this video. This video is all for entertainment purposes. Alright, then, because the video I'm doing last night, I'm taking it down, but I still have to play about this. I just want to listen to what Desmond McKenzie has said. I'm not going to say nothing. I want to say things, deliberate them, go to them feelings and report my channel. So I'm not going to say nothing. I make only say what I say. I'm going to listen to it again. And McKenzie then made this comment. All the people who are colluding, sharing information, and secretly trying to undermine this young man. And some of them should be ashamed of them. Wait, what? Colluding? Shared information, huh? It's like every time I hear a JLP member speak, it's like they talking about themselves. How did Nationwide get information about the report? How sway? How? Who is colluding? Which jet? Which which person that supports the PMP and is a vlogger, or which person that doesn't support the JLP and is a vlogger? Came out with information before the IC report came out. Name one. Name one. What is he talking about, bro? Man, this is good. Yo, they, I don't get it, bro. It's like up is down. What are these people on? I'm starting. To, listen, man. I'm starting. To, I'm starting to think these people are on something. Cause they mind it right. Seriously. Listen to this. So I'm not going to say make only say what I say. I'm going to say it again. And Mackenzie then made this comment. All the people who are colluding, sharing information, and secretly trying to undermine this young man. And some of them should be ashamed of themselves. Sir, you should be ashamed of yourself. The entire JLP should be ashamed of themselves for supporting this man after the report that came out. All of you have no credibility, not even an ounce, not even a little bit, not even a drop. Because I bet you, if you might have another name and you might family background, nobody would touch him. Oh, man, what is this man talking about? The victim, this is, this is a position of weakness. I don't think the JLP understands that they look weak out here. Guys, like and share the video. Like and share the video. Come on now, don't do your boy like that. Like and share the video. This is coming from a position of weakness. Why are you crying? <laughs> if it was somebody else from another, from another family name, they wouldn't touch him. Man, bullish, bullish. This man ain't no victim. Who told him to not declare his assets and be open and honest with the integrity commission? Who told him to do that? Was it somebody that forced him to do that? I'm just asking. All he had to do was to tell the integrity commission, give them all the information they needed. If he did that and he was clear, guess what? We wouldn't be having this conversation. But obviously, obviously, based off his actions, Broski got something to hide. Because something ain't right. Something not right, my wisdom warriors. Something is not right. Mm -hmm. hmm. Tell about them. But because him come from a humble place. Oh. And so, Mr. Mackenzie vowed to defend the integrity of the Prime Minister. Oh. We are not, as a party, going to allow the PNP and its leadership to construct and to deliver anything that is going to destroy the image of Dr. Andrew Holness, Prime Minister. That sounds like a threat. You are not going to allow the PNP to construct. What are they constructing? The IC already put out the report. What do you mean by construct? What, what does that mean? What the hell does that mean? Touch him, but because him come from a humble place. And so Mr. Mackenzie vowed to defend the integrity of the prime minister. We are not as a party going to allow the PNP and its leadership to construct and to deliver anything 
that is going to destroy the image of Dr. Andrew Holness, Prime Minister and leader of the Jamaica Labour Party. Let's go to the other part. Forget about construct. You're not going to allow them to deliver. So what? You're going to stop them from delivering evidence that might that diminish the integrity of the Prime Minister? How are you going to do that without doing something illegal, Mr. McKenzie, is my question. How are you going to stop the PMP from giving proof or giving evidence that they might come across <laughs> that might put your, your God in a compromising position where his integrity is going to go down further than it already is in the eyes of well-thinking Jamaicans? How, Sway? How are you going to do that without doing something illegal? Guys, I want you to listen to the verbiage. I want you to listen to the type of language that this man is putting out there. All right? Listen to this. On labor rights. Only listen to my viewers and subscribe. Right. If it means that labor rights must take to the streets of this country in defense of Andrew Holness, then we are prepared to go out there and defend. Andrea Chisholm. Labor rights taken to the streets to defend Andrew Holness. So you're 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 putting your people in a position to be hurt. You're asking them to be an aggressor in the streets to defend. All right. So what are you going to do in the streets? How are you going to defend the IC report? You're going to go out there with placards and say Andrew Holness is is innocent. Andrew Holness is innocent. Is that how you're going to take it to the streets? And when you do that. Who, who you think is going to listen to you? Outside of your own own fan base of the persons that worship Andrew Honest. Who is going to listen to you? In the streets going, he is innocent. He is innocent. Uh, sir, uh, do you know this man had 28 accounts? Do you know that a lot of his assets that he got, where the source of the money came from, cannot be declared? It's not cleared up yet. It's not, it's not clear where the money came from. Do you know this based off the report? How are you going to go to the streets to defend his integrity when it's based off facts and evidence? Are you going to bring some new facts and evidence into the streets and put it up on placards? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? I'm sensing violent vibes. That's what I'm sensing. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Shout out to Matthew McCullough. Say good night, my brother. Blessings, everyone. Salute. Oh, guys, remember, I did not tell y'all this, but remember, if you want to donate, the donation link is pinned in the comment section right at the top. You see highlighted in white? Click on that, open it up, and the link is right there for you to donate, and your donations will be read out on the screen. Man, let's. We wanna think more that. Yeah. My viewers and subscribe. I just wanted to play that and play those two. Let's get into the crux of the of the matter. Let's get into the crux of the matter, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Holness in the diaspora speaking to the people. And this is what Mr. Holness had to say to the people. And there's a few things in this thing that triggered me. And I said, let me go live. I was going to stay. I was going to be chilling. I was going to go to my bed and sleep. But when I heard this man utter a lie, a bold face lie to the people of the diaspora in on international in New York national, this is this is televised, ladies and gentlemen. This is televised. And listen to what is the first thing this man had to say. Listen to it. So let's talk about Jamaica. Now, if you read the news. And uh, if you follow social media, you would think that the sky is falling. Oh my God. Wow. And uh, uh, I do quite a bit of reading and following myself. So then I'm abreast. I, I keep abreast of what people are saying and what people think. Uh, because it's important as a leader to have that understanding. Now, we have been doing very well on our development goals. Uh, we have done an assessment and uh, we're not going to. So let's address that. 
he just threw that in there. If you read social media and the news, you would think that the, new, the sky is falling down. Uh, sir, what are you implying? It's not. Are you implying that it's business as usual in Jamaica? Are you implying that this is not a crisis where the leader of the country is under investigation, has been under investigation, and the conclusion that they have yielded after being under investigation, have you under investigation, is that your assets cannot be declared? This lady sat up there with you. That's why she's on the thumbnail. Can the lies just end seriously? Can it? Lord have mercy. What? Hit developed country status by 2013. I'm not but even. I'm not even gonna go through all the speech. I swear that. If you're really a, desperate, it's gonna be a quick lie. I wanna go to the questions and answers because, boy, I'm taking calls tonight. All right, y'all get ready. I'm taking calls tonight. All right, real talk, man. This is ridiculous, bro. People get frustrated. So you have to come with a politics that gives hope, but a politics of realism. And it's, it's very difficult to... And that has been the history of the country. All right, hold on. Now, think Let's... about what borrowing is. And it's so profound for me. Uh -huh. Borrowing is paying for today's consumption with tomorrow's taxes. In other words, you're taxing the unborn generations to yes and why are you still borrowing from the imf when the pmp stopped borrowing if you know this is true and i'm glad you said it out your mouth ladies and gentlemen that is an accurate statement by the prime minister borrowing is borrowing against the future of jamaica so why the hell are we going in debt to the imf that has pre preconditions around their borrowing right that ne does not necessarily serve the people presently and the ones in the future why are we shooting ourselves in the foot right and why are we about to raise that 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 weapon to our head like russian roulette and and and, and just the future is just lost because of the, the decisions that y'all are making as the leaders of the country you know this and you understand this and y'all still burn from the imf and the world bank man listen to pay for your consumption today and that happens because well, we are so far now you get what i'm saying yeah. the pressure in our society for hundreds of years we just don't have it what we miss what we really should be doing is focusing on the economy let's build that economy but instead the political pressure is not about it doesn't reward the government that gets you a good economy it rewards the politicians who promise don't like when i say that but in with the future generation summit what because why well, we are so far now for hundreds of years we just don't have it what we miss what we really should be doing is focusing on the economy let's build that economy but yo what economy is the jlp building where there's millions of dollars unaccounted for where you have two buildings empty that they are paying for to rent or lease unoccupied what economy is this dude talking about bro when the dollar is plummeting guys i want you guys to look up singapore go research singapore please singapore gained independence after jamaica singapore is a beacon singapore is the damn size of saint thomas and singapore is doing way better than jamaica why did singapore doing better because they did things differently from the jamaican governments and i said governments pmp and jlp they did something different from the Jamaican governments. The reason why Jamaica is in the position that it's in is because of mismanagement. This Jamaica Labour Party is no different. They want to blame the past, but they're doing the same goddamn thing and worse. Where is the $700 billion, right, in the healthcare system that's unaccounted for? Where's the money in Mr. Holness's own office 
that is missing where is that money and he's talking about building an economy velma good night uh, or good afternoon sweetie he's talking about building an economy where what economy have you built what economy has the jlp built you talking about you build an economy and the head of the 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 chief that is supposed to build the economy is leaving your leaving your government nigel clark the man that is the 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 the, the engine behind the plan to build the economy is leaving you going to the imf what economy are you building right and then you're gonna you're gonna start the speech saying if you believe if you watch social media and you watch the news and you read the paper you would think that the sky is falling down in jamaica sir it damn sure is plus yes exactly thank you velma they can account for 1.7 trillion freaking dollars, bro. 1.7 trillion. I never said billion. I said trillion. When you say trillion, that kind of cuts your skin. Ugh! Trillion? 1.7 trillion dollars is unaccounted for? Oh my God, man. Listen, boy. Instead, the political pressure is not about, it doesn't reward the government that gets you a good economy. It rewards the politicians who promise. Because the pressure is so high, so any sign... You're one of those that promised. And you have been rewarded with a 200 to 300% increase in your salary. You told us, we should, they should, we should get more pay. They should get more pay. They will perform better. Uh, where? How? We have not seen it. Somebody tell me in the chat where where's the performance better by the people that is getting paid 200 to 300 percent more with their money? Where's the performance? Where? What performance? Let's be let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a stack. It's not politics. Let's keep it real. What have they done that is benefiting the collective of the Jamaican people, especially the grassroots? I'm not talking about macroeconomy. I'm talking about the man at base level. The regular Jamaican. What is this building of an economy doing to raise those people up at a certain standard of living? Where? Where is it? Enough hope. And that has been the history of the country. I, I'm trying to change that. It's not easy. He's trying to change that after eight years. Yo, you see the you see how you see what he does? Gloria salute. You see what he does? He's always the victim. Guys, listen to me. And this is for the ones out there that are still making excuses for this man. I want you to view Jamaica as a house. Alright? There's pipes under the foundation of the house that has that has you know the pipe has burst and it's causing flooding right you have interviewed a few plumbers that's us the jamaican people the only economy jamaica perform better than in the caribbean latin america is haiti jamaica economy has not grown more than two percent over the last 45 years dang george smith big up um, Byron Jones says they are not being paid enough, so they were not working. Think about that, Byron. Hey, people, think about what Byron just said. If you come into a job and your attitude is, yo, you're not paying me enough, yeah, man. So yo, yo, me just like a jog my foot, and then if I pay you more, then so you work because of the money. I don't want you to be the person that works for me. That's just me. But let's get back to my analogy, right? Let's get back to my analogy. So you have your house and the pipe burst under the foundation, right? And it have flowed out the place. The tile them and lift up, right? Everything. You can't get no water in your pipe them. You interview some plumber. Say so you interview two plumber. One of them named PMP and one of them named JLP and one of them named UIC. You interview three plumber. See? The previous plumber is unknown as a name. JLP come there and say, listen, 
I am the man for the job, you know. Because as such and such and such and such and such, you know. I see the problem. The problem is easy to fix. Right? Big up Richie Vivo. Sleep under zinc on the mattress since burial. What? Is that your reality, Gloria Swaby? I'll, oh my God. Not tell me say that's your reality. Mighty God of Daniel. Or anybody you know. Anyway. PMP say, boom, I am the one for the job because of such and such. UIC say, I am the one for the job because of such and such. Say for instance, PMP get the job. Right? And PMP, the people, the, the owner of the house feel like, say, which is we the people, you know, Jamaica, you know. Feel like say, PMP you know, do a good enough job. Right? Because of what we are saying. And, and then, the jail, um, UIC, and, 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 and JLP say, you see what me did tell you? And me are the person for the job, my lad. You see me? Do the right thing. And me, you forget the job. Right? Because they want the contract, you know. UIC have for them argument. But you feel like say JLP argument stronger. Right? Remember, you know. The PMP coming you know, up. Tell you say they could have fixed the problem. They do them thing. But the problem never fix. You still... I have the same problem come up back. Now, somebody did it. When he done in the first interview, which is a JLP, them now get the job. This is what they do, ladies and gentlemen. And we allow them to do it. What he's doing on the stage right now. It hard, you know, man. It hard, you know. Because, you know, the first administration, they do this and they never do that. And now all of this burden come down upon me. Bridging. Me pay you for the one work where you say you can do. Me don't want you no excuse. Right? You guarantee me so you can't fix the problem. So why you can not complain now and I blame the previous administration? Them do what them do already, you know. You tell me say you can't fix it. Now the part they still bust under the foundation. And worse things are happening to the country. Right? And you still try to convince me say. Me just need a little bit more time. Man, F you and your time. Right? You, you, you get eight years, you get two terms. And you still can't make we see no actual like. Alright, something happened. All we are seeing are money are missing. People are resigned. Eight people under investigation. Building a rent. We don't nobody in it. And one of the people in my own building. As somebody were working at government we already, we already I get paid because they get one race. The teacher them are the teacher them are migrate from Jamaica. Right? Because they now get proper pay. Una carrying other teachers and probably I give them more pay than the teacher them are there. Because they come from foreign country. And I still think I still believe that that is by design and that is a plot. Yes, two brothers sleeping under two sheets and zinc. Them not get no help. Them house blow down. And them in the bushes. Lord of mercy. Gloria. Oh my God. You're going to make my mind go to one place. Now. Jesus Christ. See, I tell me, say, aren't you honest? They get so much money. For burial. And people really asleep. And that's it. When they house blow down. At night time in a cool. All rain fall on them something there. And them, the, and them come talk about you need, you need, um, you need, um, needs to get these grants. Hey, who do not take no needs, you know? Who do not take no needs? Who do hear me? I want to know you. I'm talking my TV. I want in a long time. Who do think I joke you, my mech? Yeah, yeah, well, thinking Jamaicans I want in a long time. Who do think I joke you, my mech? Hey, man, who do listen to me, no man? Channel star. Yo, I shouldn't even know. So this man get the job for fix the pipe, them bridging. And the pipe them don't fix. And the man get pee already, bro. And the man can come blame the previous administration. Right? The UIC not get no chance yet, you know? So me I tell you now, ladies and gentlemen, that's an analogy as to how things have been going. There's have been a blame game between the two major parties them over the years. We need to stop falling for the banana in the tailpipe. And we need to hold these guys accountable. You understand? We have to hold them accountable, man. Because depression and suffering. 
people get frustrated. So you have to come with a politics that gives hope, but a politics of realism. A politics that gives hope. More want to pay attention to the word, you know. A politics that gives hope is what? Talking. Convincing you. You see thing. Yeah, man, we can't fix it, man. We are the man for the job. Hope. A realistic hope, but then it's never realized. This is what politicians do, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, please hit the like button. I don't even want to look on it because I don't want to distract it. I beg you, my moderators, them, please remind the people if you hit the like button for me, please. In the comment section, night, but I do doing job, but I want to know if you do it more. Hit the like button, guys. Please. Right? So then give you this hope. This realistic hope that they are the person for the job. Then when they get the job, just like what the Prime Minister said, in a hundred days, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and oh, he's not going to stand for corruption, but they have eight persons in a parliament right now that is under investigation, including yourself, right? And guess what you're not doing? You not telling the people of Jamaica who is the next self. Gag order. Gag order, ladies and gentlemen. Only 46 likes, that don't look good. That don't look good at all. Nothing not going for me. I have 197 people watching, almost 200 people watching, and I don't have 100 likes. Come on, guys. It's very difficult to Come on. mix the two things because sometimes, you know, hope and realism don't work together. You well, hear I'm... that? Hope and realism don't work good together. So why him tell us say him a go give you is a political is a politics of hope, but it have to be realistic. And him see when I tell us say it don't work together. Now island water that. So you see say add the banana and add the tailpipe and the trick. When if you listen to them people here and break them with them and say no. Enough people are gonna say and I don't care about you anymore. These people well, I say me chat too much. I am a content creator. I come on here to talk. If you don't like the content creator's style, you have other people you can go to. So leave out on my comment section. I'm going to block someone. Here. Yeah. In a real life. I don't give a flying F. But let's continue. Andrea White, big up. Try to be as practical and as upfront with the people. As I'm with you today. To, to say to you that there is suffering. There is pressure. There are problems. But the hope is that we have fixed the critical element in the equation. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying again, the hope is not the guarantee, you know, not yes, we have, you know, big of yourself, black beauty, not yes, we have fixed the critical parts, you know. So, you can't even guarantee to yourself they have done their job enough to fix the critical parts of the problems to set a foundation for the future. It's all based in hope. But you people of Jamaica allow these people to buy your vote based off hope. He said, um, February 30, 2024, someone served to Mr. Donovan Williams, attorney at law, member of parliament and company secretary of um, IAHL, EDL, and PMSL to appear before the DI on February 20th, 2024. Wow. Hey, you need to reach out to me. George Smith, the WhatsApp number. Um, yeah, man, you don't need to join the WhatsApp, you know, guys. If you don't join the WhatsApp group yet, um, the number is 4516535. That's 18764516535. Just text me and text join, and I'll add you to the group. Any information you have in regards to what is going on in Jamaica, yes, on a, on a, on a, on a link up. Mr. G, big up. Big up. Big up yourself. The economy. Now, as I said, however... McQueen, uh, how you doing, love? The economy, it, it's still at a rudimentary level. There needs to be another step that Jamaica has to make. So, we have dealt with the fiscal management of the economy, meaning how we manage the resources that we get from taxes and how we spend the fiscal affairs. Really? How you manage the resources? You know how laughable that is? How do you manage the resources? By wasting money renting two buildings that is not being that's not occupied. Right? By hiding who owns the other building. Us finding out that Norman Dunn owns the one in another bay. Are they still paying? Are they still paying lease for that building? Are they still paying lease for that building? 
after the public has now found out. Are they still paying this for it? <laughs> questions, questions, questions. Oh boy. The next end now, the next end. Questions, questions, questions. questions. How do we grow and expand the economy? That is the next step. Hassan, big up. So you've come here to hear about your country? So I've told you, we have a really solid economy now. Oh, come on, bro. He said we got a solid economy. Where? Where? Do you see the prices of things in the, in the, in, in, in the goddamn supermarket? The price of food alone. What? What stable economy is this dude talking about, bro? That is generating uh, revenues, but the important thing about the revenues that it is generating, it is stable. Why oh. is stability so important? Because if you have stable revenues, you can make long-term capital plans, long-term investment plans. So I can tell you... Long-term capital plans for who? For who? Which regular Jamaican is getting long-term capital um, plans who the investors that you have where's the money going in tourism offshore accounts overseas a small percentage coming back to jamaica what the hell is he talking about what stable economy the dollar is going up the u.s dollar compared to the jamaican dollar is going what is he talking about bruh man that I know economy as it is, for 20 years we can make the investments in roads. 20 years? Who do you think I get 20 years more than a year in a power for the war? You must be mad to blow us and scream. Hey, Jamaica, when you wake up, you know? If any of you still asleep, in a, God, in a God name, in the name of the Almighty Creator of the universe, when you wake up, come up, wake up! If you don't have any intention, Forget this man one more year. On a wake up after this report that come out. On a wake up. If you don't have any intention, forget this government, JLP overall, one more year in a power on a wake up. Because we don't see them back him. We don't see them. Then, then nobody now denounce him. We don't see whole party not have no integrity. We don't see that. And then I try. Um, we just played the clip a while ago. Mackenzie's statement come like him a wage war against the people in Jamaica. Ronnie um, Nicholson, what go on? Big up. Right? Uno wake up, man. Wake up. Uno not see how much how the large them get comfortable at Jamaica. The evil. This is not even just about policy and the economy. Uno not see what go on with the evil. When you say evil get comfortable in Jamaica, when you say spirit of evil is very comfortable in Jamaica now under this government. When you say that, when you see type of um, homicide, them we are going even with the kids them missing. The other day, my boy played one video with this young girl. I never knew about the case because I never used to watch news. For over 10 years, I didn't watch news, ladies and gentlemen. So I never knew about that case. Sometimes my mom will utter certain things about certain topics. And me hear me, I say, whoa, what the hell is going on? But I don't follow up. When I see the case with the little girl, this little girl, the eight-year-old girl, and the, and the government take over the, the funeral. The amount of police and soldier where they are the funeral, more than family member, a politician. What a piece of wickedness. Eh? And 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 the matter about the girl blood get she never have no blood left in her body. God, God. Kevin Smith, look on Kevin Smith situation. That the church there. Only not hear things that Kevin Smith say. Only forget. Only forget same one, you know. But the same needs where I come in with now. Only forget where Kevin Smith telling about the national ID. Only 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 forget. He mentioned everything. He mentioned everything. Go listen back to Kevin Smith. I'll talk in my TV in play it all the time. Me I go tell. Me I go link. Miss 
miss at half of the press and tell herself in link talk to my tv and talk to my tv if you watch this live stream in general i want you to do a special and i want you to break down what kevin smith did say years ago they need to get a reminder a refresher because me you are react to it you know so me i ask you talk to my tv i want you to do a refresher course upon kevin smith and the things that i'm set about what is coming right the famine and all them something they ain't talk about the man talk about a whole heap of things in Jamaica. You know, she say the 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 the, the story around theme demise is very suspicious, and a police actually was analyzed in that situation. I don't remember if you don't remember type. Remember, class prefect Wagwan. He said, "I just watch your video about Lester Morgan. JLP always talk about the things they are doing, brother. I swear, brother, I swear, I that them do." Same thing with 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 with, with uh, Mackenzie, right? Same thing with Mackenzie, right? What the hell is going on? Can the lies just end? Can the lies just end? Mighty God! Or in healthcare, or in education, or in security, with stable revenues. But I can tell you one more thing. With stable revenues, we don't have to tax you. But with stable revenues and a long-term projected investment path, business people can feel confident in the investment. Business people, what about the regular man? What about this this economy that he's talking about? This utopia? It does not serve the regular man. We don't need no more Jamaicans to be in a mass amount of jobs where I just ya work minimum wage. No, we need engineers. We need people that is doing coding and trained in trading. We need people and we need enough to stop. I had the overseas contractor them for the job them and give the job them to our people that are qualified. We need to stop to that too. Right? I'm mean, just ask these overseas contractors. They are going to incentive to give them contracts. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. <laughs> so more people will come and make their investment. So that's the stability part and why stability is so important. Just as an aside. One of the reasons why we just couldn't get our economy up and running is because as a small open economy located where we are in the Caribbean, if there is any sneeze in the world, we catch a cold. Oh my God. If you understand that to be so, why are you still born from the IMF? If you understand, yeah man, me get the message. Yeah man, George, me get the message. If you still understand that, if you understand that to be true, Mr. Holness, why are you guys still born from the IMF? If you understand that to be so, why are you not investing in the people of Jamaica? I'm talking about everybody. Not carrying investors, not business people. I'm talking about the regular Joe. If you know this to be true, Mr. Holness, why is your government not focused on education? Why are you not paying the teachers what they want? Why are you allowing a brain drain to happen? But you're gonna pay yourself and your 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 um your 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 people, your 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 um your co-workers, the PMP and the JLP, all of y'all got a raise, right? Why did Nigel Clark give you a raise of two hundred to three hundred percent as a collective? I don't care if you took the money or not. You was advocated for the raise you said if they get the raise they will work better so what about the teachers that has been working so well and y'all ain't giving them the raise y'all have gave them water to carry basket for years and as soon as these people said give us a 20 to 25 percent increase man i can't do that but i'm gonna give myself a 200 to 300 percent increase where they do that at so why you you are the ones that are facilitating this brain trade to happen 
while education is so important, right? You are the ones that are facilitating the brain drain in the in in the, in the hospitals because you don't want to pay them either. You are the ones that are doing this. In the, at the same time, seven hundred billion dollars is not account. Seven hundred billion dollars is not accounted for. Is it seven hundred billion? Seven hundred billion in the Ministry of Health. Allegedly, it's not accounted for. They can't. We don't know where the money went. What? And you know that if America sneezes, we catch cold. And you don't want to be independent. Oh, so you know this, and you still want to be a part of the Privy Council? You want to amend the Constitution and still be a part of an outside entity that has any control over over us? You don't want to have a fully independent Jamaica? But you know if they, if they sneeze, we catch cold. You know all the problems, but never do the things that are going to make it, make to fix the problem. But you want to tell, oh, just give us a little bit more time. We are giving you hope. All right, and then you come with another excuse five years from now. But you know, we had this pandemic, and you know, this happened to the world. So you know, we could. What about being proactive and not reactive? What about setting the economy and the country in a way where we can withstand things like that that happens? Because we went through one already, right? Why are you, the government of Jamaica, being reactive and not proactive? Then you blame the, 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 the that's like listen the Jamaican the Jamaican government operate like this. Let me calm down. The Jamaican government operate like this. They have a car that's Jamaica. Jamaica is the car. Follow me. They buy the car. They don't insure the car. They drive the car and somebody told us the car by running through the car. Right? And they go, oh, but I never had ins I, I, I never had insurance. So it's gonna take a time to fix the car. Why didn't you buy insurance? Just because this is a possibility happening. That's called being proactive. Don't drive the car without insurance. The Jamaican government has been driving Jamaica without insurance and a thing like C-19 happened, the pandemic. And they go, oh, shoot. Damn. Right? And everybody suffers. Meanwhile, they were they were charging Jamaican people for not wearing masks. Boy, for being out after, after, after curfew hours. All type of ish. Right? The government got millions of dollars. It's either people got locked up or they paid up. So right now, Andrew Onis, with this integrity report, I see you need to get you need to get locked up or you need to pay up. Something needs to happen because y'all didn't have no, the DPP didn't have no. Her office, that whole organization of justice did, ha did not have no mercy on the Jamaican people in, 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 in the pandemic. No mercy. Is either you got locked up or you had to pay up. And let's not talk about the people that had to pay up in the street before they even, so that they don't get to the court. That's a whole nother conversation. Right? Man, let's, boy. 